Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania, this way. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler and it's train time at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Let's take a look inside. There's your hours of operation. Last entries at 3.30. I thought we were locked out there for a minute. Do a nice entrance. To the trains. Well, since we got here a little late, the uh, gentleman suggested that we go out to the train yard first before, before that closes. So we're going to head out through here first. Wee, look at this place. This is awesome. I think we'll head to the yard first. Goodies store. Picking up some canned goods. Yeah, you can buy an old broom here. Telegraph room. Rena's Hotel and Bar. Can't see what kind of beer that is. Photography studio. Stewart's Junction. Oh, we got G scale train set here. I had all these buildings at one time. Well, this is what we wanted to see first, because we don't have much time. Well, nice collection here. Absolutely no smoking in the yard and do not step or walk on rails. Ooh, look at this Amtrak. It has seen its days. Now these trains are all around the roundhouse here. No engines, just a bunch of cars. Now there's one Pennsylvania engine. The only thing I wish is uh, they had some information on all these trains out here. Because a lot of them I don't know. I'm sure you guys in the comments below will tell me what a lot of these are. But I've heard a few people are like, what's that, what's that? And maybe next time they'll have some information on them. About the only signs you really see out here is keep off positively no climbing on this display. That is a beast of an engine. 460. Lehigh Valley. It's 
It's engine 6755. Those wheels are probably six foot tall. Kids over there playing with the bell. Just amazing how big this engine is. And this is a 482. Well, that was a pretty quick look of the yard outside, but uh, since time is running out and uh, we don't have much time to look around in the museum, uh, we're gonna head in. A lot of different train layouts around here. So now we're at a G scale layout and you come over here and do your own switching. We got our throttles here. This is where we can switch all the tracks. I'll do a little bit here. I'll go forward. I'll hit the switch for eight. Let's go forward. Logging town, you can do some more switching here. A lot of hands on, this is pretty cool. We got a section here for the kids. Lego bricks, build your own. This is really cool. All this out of Lego. I just made the announcement that uh, museum's closing in 30 minutes and the store's closing in 15 minutes. So we don't have much time left. Well, we saw an HO layout, a G scale, and the Legos. Adams Express Company. <laughs> These kids are excited. Next time I'm gonna to have to get here a little earlier so I can kind of see more of the train station and the museum, but uh, at least you get a little overview. Really nice collection of cars, engines. This is cool here. Standardized hopper car.
an or Jenny. It's like a short stubby compared to the regular car. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure how many people are on here, but there's everybody who's worked for the railroads. And it's really cool. And I got the glare. Get on this side. There you go, you can try your hand at signaling. There's a massive engines. GP35, general purpose locomotive. Oh, the glare. EMD 645 turbocharger. Hopefully I can make it to the uh, store before it closes. Uh, the museum store, we just made it. A lot of books, a lot of books. Puzzles, calendars. There's your Lego trains. Those are pretty cool. Should start a Lego train collection. A conductor's hat. That didn't buy anything. Nothing really interested me. Feel pretty cool. I like the floor. Oh, couldn't get out there. Let's go this way. Well, unfortunately, I thought the museum was open a lot later than it was. I only had like 40, 45 minutes to see everything. So that's why I made kind of a beeline out to the yard. Caught some stuff out there, went inside. A few layouts. That was pretty cool on the uh, hands-on stuff at the LGB display. You can do a lot of switching and everything. Uh, got to the shop, saw uh, a few trains. Kind of really ran through there. Didn't get to read very much, but... Uh, Unfortunately, when you get late, uh, you don't get to see everything you want. Next time, uh, I'll plan on staying uh, three, or, three or four more hours when I get out this way again, but who knows when that'll be. But uh, I think that's going to do it here from uh, Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And on that note, travelers saying, see you by the rails.